We present Morphable Diffusion, 3D Consistent Diffusion for Single Image Avatar Creation. The introduction of large 3D scan collections allowed building of expressive articulated models of 3D human bodies, faces, and hands. One of the primary applications for such models is to reconstruct photorealistic avatars from highly under-constrained setups, such as monocular video or a single image. Recent works have tackled this problem with novel neural rendering techniques and generative modeling. In this work, we build on the state-of-the-art multi-view consistent diffusion model and enhance the reconstruction quality while enabling additional control for generating animatable photorealistic avatars from a single image. Given a single input image and a morphable mesh with a desired facial expression, our method directly generates 3D consistent and photorealistic images from novel viewpoints. Using these generated images, we could reconstruct a coarse 3D model using off-the-shelf neural surface reconstruction methods such as NUS2. A single denoising step of our method consists of four parts. First, a noise feature volume is constructed by lifting and processing the 2D noise features into a 3D volume which is processed by a 3D C in N to produce a spatial feature grid. Next, a morphable noise volume is constructed by attaching the 2D noise features onto mesh vertices that are processed by a sparse convnet to output a 3D MM aware feature volume. Then, the resulting feature grids are blended via addition. The blended noise volume is further interpolated to the frustum of a target view that we wish to synthesize. Lastly, the noisy target image, the input image, and the target feature frustum are processed by a pre-trained 2D net to predict the denoised image at the next iteration. We evaluate our method on the task of novel view synthesis of faces. Given a single portrait image, our method produces more plausible and realistic novel views while maintaining better multi-view consistency compared to state-of-the-art methods. Quantitative comparison on the FaceScape dataset demonstrates that our method produces the best perceptual metrics. We show the meshes of our method and the baselines reconstructed with News 2. Please pay attention to the subject's facial expression and side view renderings. Our method could also be applied to novel view synthesis of full bodies. With explicit conditioning on simple X vertices, our method generates full body human images in more accurate body poses compared to the baselines. Quantitatively, our method demonstrates a considerable improvement over all the baselines across all metrics. Our method also supports novel facial expression synthesis with the proposed training steam that disentangles the reconstruction guided by the input image and the animation guided by the underlying morphable model. Note that columns with dagger symbols are models with per-subject fine-tuning. Our method is the only one that successfully synthesizes novel views for a novel facial expression while retaining high fidelity. Quantitatively, both of our models with or without fine-tuning outperform the corresponding baselines on most of the metrics. We compare the reconstructed mesh of our method with Mofin Earth. Both models synthesize novel facial expressions from a single input image. Our method produces better resemblance. We fine-tune our method on 16 views of the test subject in neutral expression and compare the fine-tuned model with diffusion rig. Our fine-tuned model improves the resemblance slightly compared to the results with single input image and produces images with better fidelity compared to the baseline. We show that our method could be applied to animate a full body image using simple meshes as driving signals.
While our morphable model exhibits promising capabilities, it is essential to acknowledge its inherent limitations that could impact its widespread applicability, such as identity flickering during expression interpolation and general identity deterioration in certain cases. Our method is also unable to generalize well to in the wild input images due to data set bias in ethnicity and hairstyles. Understanding and mitigating these occasional identity discrepancies and switching to a more diverse multi-view human face data set would undoubtedly enhance the overall robustness and reliability of our morphable model. Future work can also involve adapting the method for real-time animation of the model from the video stream. Thanks for watching.